It's a Friday. Friday, Friday. Gotta get that. No, I'm kidding. What we're doing is exactly, active, but apparently I'm not gonna be able to breathe better after today, so. Oh, my favorite part. Jim, she's so just so yeah. There it is, some synthetic shit to uh, prevent the hematoma. Uh -huh. So you, after you take off that, uh -huh. you should be able to breathe, uh, oh. breathe more easily. Oh, I wow. think I will check about the. Uh... I'll never get over that. Mm. Oh, she snatched. Okay. You like it? Yeah, mom, it's very well. Okay. <laughs> 네, 수선 파일 아침에 오시라고 하셨어요? 아니, 파일 나오라고 했는데. 아침 아니에요. 이렇게? 오케이. 이렇게. There is swelling around the retro side of the nose uh -huh. and nasal teeth. Uh -huh. And after it uh, disappeared, uh -huh. and more uh, slim. Yes. Symmetry. Okay, your symmetry is good. Keep the ice all day long. Okay. So I guess that was just another cleaning out of the insides of my nose. Um, again! Shit off. So next Tuesday is when everything should be good and he said he'll take everything out. Like everything. The plugs, the shit on top of my nose. So it's just a matter of waiting. When will he return from the war? Now if you're from California, I believe it's only in California. It might be in other places but um... Uh, there's a place called Smash Burger. It's one of my favorite, favorite burger places, uh, specifically for the San Diego burger. They have a bunch of burgers named after cities, and I love the San Diego one because there's avocado. I fucking love avocado. It's probably the Southern California in me. What with my fucking avocado toasts and shit. <laughs> the closest thing, I guess, to that would be this burger from McDonald's. They just, I just ordered this again today for the for the first time since I got back from the States. And they started putting in this thing. It used to go, be in a regular like bag, but it would get like really messy, but now they like separate it. I guess to keep the thing from getting soggy, I don't know. Uh, but also they have this shit. It's like cherry blossom soda. It almost tastes like bubble yum. Hey guys, it's, <laughs> hey guys. So it's Sunday, um, this Sunday after I've got surgery. So it's only been like five days and um oh, you can't really see like damn we can't see like personally you don't really see as much but the bruising is starting to turn yellow, which is normal for bruising, I mean it's healing properly. From the front, I can tell that my nostrils have got in a little bit of course, it's swelling, so it's <coughs> it's gonna get smaller over time when the swelling is going away, but girl, from the side Oh Yeah oh I was talking to my friend about this yesterday, but uh, you know that face I do where I, I, I can't even do it. I ho hopefully after everything is done and over with, I'll be able to still do it because I can't go on without my facial expressions. It's what keeps me alive. It's my personality. It's who I am. Dior. Just kidding. Uh, there are a few questions that people were having on the last video, and so I figured I would address it here. Also, I'd like to say that I'm really happy about all the positive comments that I'm getting. On that video, like I said on Snapchat, I was worried that people are giving me shut. And you know, if they want to, whatever. Some people are asking how much it costs. Um, I, for me, I was I'm paying um because I haven't paid it yet. I'm going to be paying it um in installments. That's part of the, the like agreement that I made with um Soul Guide Medical or whatever. Um, I would pay three thousand three million five hundred thousand won, which is like a little over three thousand dollars um but that's because you know i did the video i'm giving them a little bit of exposure so i get a bit of a discount so i'm it's not was it i remember it not being that much of a discount so it'll float around that much i've talked to some korean people and they said like oh that's kind of expensive for a nose job but um i don't know i feel like in america it's way more expensive anyway and i'm doing it in korea where you know they're known for this sort of thing. And I think the doctor did a really, really good job. So I don't mind. If you have the money, it's within your budget. I mean, why not? 
Um, some people are asking, you know, like, oh, I'm not Asian. Can, you know, other people, can I get surgery? Done? And that's what Soul Guide Medical is for. They'll help you find a doctor. Tony's really good with like, he knows all the doctors. So um, he'll help you find a doctor for the specific thing that you want to change. And that's the important thing is that you communicate with a doctor during your consultation about what exactly it is you want. And uh, for me, luckily for me, my doctor Min, he, like I said, he, you, you might have seen, he photoshopped the photo in front of me so I could see what he was going to do. So he had an idea of what he was going to do and he explained each step so that if there's anything that, you know, you want to change, you're not happy with, or you'd rather have, you know, change or whatever, then you can let them know there. Um, it all depends on what you want. And um, I don't think it's exactly, I mean, you could go to a doctor's office and ask them, oh, what do you think, what do you think I should get? But at the end of the day, I think you should decide what you think is best for your face. Um, and you know, there's nothing wrong with oh, if a doctor suggests something and you like a suggestion, then go for it. But um, I don't think it's a good idea to be going to an office and getting something done only because the doc doctor said like, oh, uh, he said it would be better for me, so I think I should do it. And he's Korean, so I think he... No. So it doesn't matter what race you are or whatever. Um, that's why the doctor and the Soul Guide Medical is there to help. A lot of people are asking about sneezing. Some people in one of the threads about the sneezing um, were saying that when they got their surgeries done, the doctor said to avoid sneezing, like try to hold it back as much as you could. At first I didn't think about it, but then what, you know, a few days ago when the urge to sneeze finally came on, I was like, oh shit, what's gonna happen if like the shit comes out? But what I, I was kind of, I kind of forced a lot of it through my mouth. In general though, I feel like my sneezes are more like coughs. Um, they don't really sound like sneezes, so either hold it back, um, what I, if I try to hold back a sneeze, I kind of cover my nose, like my nostrils. I find that just plugging them up with my hand or like, you know, whatever, it tends to hold it back. But if, if you really can't hold it, then I force it through my mouth and nothing happened. Like, I, it didn't even hurt, it's just, you know, yeah. And then the bruising and the swelling, uh, the thing is, I have a, like I said in the last video, I have a very wide nose, very triangle shaped nose. So what the doctor did was an osteo, I don't remember the word. Basically he just cut the sides of the nose so that, you know, it was slimmer. But with that, well, I feel like most people, when they get their nose done, it's more about like the nostrils and like the bridge part, whatever, up here, like extending it up. So they don't really swell here because they don't really cut the sides of their nose. I feel like a super wide nose isn't, well, from what, from what my, in my head, I feel like a wide nose isn't, like number one exactly on like the list of things people want to fix on their noses. A lot of people don't tend to see this level of bruising. But yeah, it just, it's just like extra bruised because he cut the side. So, and of course, because it's directly next to where it's cut, that a lot of the bruising is going to be there. But yeah, even, no matter what, any sort of trauma to the nose will cause this kind of bruising. Um, it's extended to my eyes and goes me putting makeup on very difficult so I don't even bother. Yesterday, I went, I went to Kangnam and I was like, oh, let me like color correct and like add foundation. But it, it just ended up looking too damn cakey. And it's so hard because my eyes are so swollen. It's so hard to get into like the crevices and it was just looking really bad. As you saw in like the very, like everyone's favorite part in the last video, the very end clip where I've tried to put makeup on, but I ended up looking like the fucking Pillsbury Doughboy. <gasps> oh, and also Tony informed me that the blood here on my eyes is also, you know, has to do with um, my, my nose surgery in general. It just traveled everywhere. It's uh, it's officially Tuesday. Um, the day I get to take everything, all well, hopefully all this stuff off. I don't know about the brace, but definitely the plastic in my nose. It's been a full week now, full seven days, and um, a lot of the major swelling is pretty much like nearly a hundred percent gone. Uh, all this left is like this yellow and uh, purple bruising under my eyes. You can really tell my nose is starting to come together. I can even uh, <laughs> smile. I couldn't really do that before today. But what I'm really happy about is the fact that, well, there's a brace on it, so I can barely, I can only see like this much of my nose, but I don't know, it just feels like my nose from before, but better, which is like, you know, I'm like so happy about it. Like, this was, of course, I was super worried that it was gonna come out really fake looking, like crossing my fingers that it's gonna look like, cause of course if I'm gonna get surgery, I want there to be a difference, you know what I mean? But if it's not gonna be that much of a difference, I might as well have just stuck with fillers. Uh, but I can tell like, well, we'll see later on when we uh, go back to the hospital today um, and they take off the brace and we can see the um, nose itself. But uh, yeah, I didn't vlog yesterday, but yesterday was the first time and I didn't even notice until like, 
I was, I like was really thinking about it was um I actually was able to breathe through my nose for the first time in a long time like probably like, actually breathing with my mouth closed and I, I wasn't like out of breath mind you still really clogged up in my nose it's like right now I'm talking through my I'm breathing through my mouth right now when I was sitting up and my nose just cleared out a little bit uh I was actually able to breathe a bit through my nose so that was I mean, I still can't, I, I also realized I wasn't, I haven't been smelling anything for the, like, the past week. I have to put it like, really, like, even, what was it? The only thing I was able to smell, I think, was like, this really strong candle that I have. And I had to put it like, up to my nose and I had to really breathe in deep for me to smell it. But yeah, that's gonna be, uh, kind of wild when I'm able to smell again. Another thing that I did was, um, you remember, you remember that desk? that I have. I mean, there's this desk, but then I have, like, that other desk over there. I took it out, and I'm, like, redoing my, my background. Oh my god, it's such a fucking mess. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to make it more of what I was wanting it to look like, uh, because that desk thing I had was kind of a nuisance, and I hated it, so I'm gonna try to simplify it a little bit. Uh, but that doesn't even really fucking matter, because I'm moving in July, probably, anyway. I'm just like, ah, you know, we're just gonna hang out today. Cool, have a good time. Cool, 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 cool. Here I am coming and looking like trash, like this kid. Oh my god. Ah, what the hell are you doing? Where are you going? Where are you going? In this? Is it okay? This boy is feeling himself so hard. He, he, saw, he saw himself in this. Is it, oh my god, what a prince. Oh. Oh, he got me a gift. Has the box always been this big? It's just, the box is really big. Tickles. You know, our, uh, when he was gonna give this to me, I was like, don't you use tin? He's like, oh no, not anymore. And he brought up the story about when Double A was doing comeback. There was one, I think the performance is, it might, I'm not sure because in Korea some performances don't show up on YouTube, but maybe in America it does. There's a performance of comeback that Double A did where the makeup artist put the lip tint on him and it wasn't enough for Aura, so he's like, give me the lip tint. And she like put a shit ton, so his lips were really, really red. And, you know, when you put tint, you generally put them like in the center of the lips as like a gradient, but him, he like put it full on like lipstick. And when he performed, people on the internet were like, what the fuck is he doing? And his company manager when I was like, um, I don't What are you doing? So from then on, he never wore lip tint again. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We're taking it all out. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Ah, no. Oh my god, I can breathe in. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can finally breathe again. I think out of everything, that was the most uncomfortable part was her taking the stitches out. Yeah. And also when they're cleaning because it's still kind of sore inside and then her like beating the shit out of it with the cotton, the little tissue thing. Oh, that was the most painful part of this whole process, but we're almost worth it. Oh. Let me see how my nose is a different color from my foundation. <laughs> looks so oh. She's a kingdom on me now, okay? Oh my. She's a new, oh, who is that? Who are you, okay? Okay, so there is a oh, my looks so fucking stupid with no foundation here, but it's still kind of sore, but girl, she's looking good. Oh my god, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> I'm like yellow here and then I'm like I don't know. That's his natural nose. <laughs> okay, put a little bit of foundation on. And I know you're probably thinking, oh my god, I've heard that's so like I look like the money now <laughs> but it's um actually still it's still swollen so it's not gonna actually look like this after a few months it's um so it's still kind of big but um 
I like it. I'm not, I'm not like upset that I, I'm not upset with it. So it's just a matter of time before it all settles in. Other than that, I'm really happy. <laughs> okay, it looks better in this lighting. Yeah, the tip is just, it's still swollen. Uh, but <laughs> Eddie cosplay one. Tell us if you're the car. Apparently, this is where Jeonsomi lives. And who else? This is where YG used to live. CEO? CEO. It's time to eat. Oh, it's delicious. It's 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 To, what is this, Creamfield? Girl, with a name like that. <laughs> what? Oh? This is just going to go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, bitch, okay. All right. All right, honey. Oh, my God. Don't love this place. Oh, my God, look at that. It's so cute. Cactus cookie. It's really difficult to eat though. Oh my god, are you serious? <gasps> I fucking love it. Jesus Christ. You know who would like this place? Andy Lou would love this place. Take his photos. Oh my god. Okay. Hello, Eddie. Very good. Hello, Eddie. What's up? What's Oh, it just tastes like a latte. Yeah. Tastes like one of these things. It's just sweet. Yeah, it's like sugar. Mm. Mm. Kind of like the top of a macaron. Oh my god, look at this boy set up. Oh, uh, while he's doing that, I'm gonna try this cupcake. Oh, now you eat this shit. Girl, like it's cute, but then when it comes time to fucking eating, it's it's all fun and games until you have to go eat it. Did you just try to eat the flower? Mm -hmm. What the fuck? It just tastes like a. <laughs> Oh my. Oh. You fucking poisoned me! What flavor is that? Oh, it's like banana nuts. Talk about. Yeah, alright. Alright, alright, see you tomorrow. Bye. So, this is actually one of my favorite shopping places in Seoul. It's called Wonder Place. And they have like all the clothes. So I think in company all the status quo that I really enjoy. But this one in home is so fucking loud. Like, like you can hear right here. You probably can't even hear my voice. And they got lights. Hey go. Oh, yippo. Hmm, yippo. But golf hanin saram katinde. Ah, really? Yeah, it's okay. Ah, but this one. Oh. 
이거 마음에 들어. 잠옷 같아. 잠옷 스타일. 이거랑? 아. 어. 귀엽네. 고고. We're at a cafe in the Pachon. We're discussing some things. Hi guys. Um, I don't know. I kind of stopped. I forgot to vlog because after that last clip, I kind of just came straight home. Um, but I think I'm just gonna end the vlog here because uh. Nothing else to say. Um, today I went to. I just got back home from Digital Media City because. Please ignore the fact that one eye is completely. Just, um, I went to the T S Plex Center, um, the TBS radio station, or whatever, because I'm going to be starting from next Monday. Actually, I'm going to be a get the main guest on um, Double Date with Kevin and Xander. Um, so. If you listen to radio, if you want to tune in, then um, I'll see if I can find a link or something and I'll leave it down below. And you so you can uh, listen to me talk about what it, oh, I think the concept of the show is like how to be a gentleman. But boy, I, I should be the last person you'd want to ask. I've been bleeding a little bit from this side of my nose. It's from like the spot where the, the things were the, uh, what the fuck? <gasps> Oh, and I also got a box from Mimi Box. It just has McDonald a McDonald's thing in it right now. <laughs> because I took everything out. But um very grateful that I got they they sent the they sent the new Pony Effect Spring Collection for 2017 and uh It'll be nice if they I, I appreciate it a lot actually, but it would be really nice if they like sent it to me prior to it coming out because I literally, as you guys saw, I already bought one, but you know, it's fine. Um, sent me the new cushion, this new lip and eye makeup remover, there's a new color correcting palette, and a new eyeshadow palette. So, I'm gonna try play around with them and then uh, make a video about that. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Um, I'll continue to update you guys about how my nose is doing right now. It's feeling great. Well, it's a little sensitive here and here where they shaved down the bone, but. Um, other than that, it's, uh, it's great. It's still swollen. A lot of people are like, oh my god, it's so snatched. It looks so good. It looks so natural. It doesn't look like it must change. But, like, because it's still swollen, so. In a few months' time, this will go down. And right here, especially. I contoured my nose a little bit today, so I don't know. Oh, one thing I will say, though, is that my nose gets really sore in the cold. Like, the tip of my nose, it gets, she gets real sore. It's a little uncomfortable, but other than that, Mm, not much. I mean, there's it's, my nose is still kind of getting stuffy, um, and it's still kind of dry. Oh, and another thing, um, it is a little painful when I cleanse my face and I'm cleansing the sides of my nose. Of course, that's because I had a that you know they cut the sides, so that's just me. But uh, for people that don't, you know, do have anything done to the sides of their noses, then you should be fine. But again, like even the front part was a little sensitive, so. But yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.